Hi everyone, today I wanted to talk a little bit about the topic of motivation. I started by looking up the definition of motivation. It's a pretty interesting and bland definition, which is the general desire or willingness of someone to do something. Pretty bland, but I think as you and I know, motivation is not a bland topic at all. It's We rely on motivation to get us where we need to go, and we think of it, I think, as the fuel for the engine inside of us. It's the thing that makes us put one foot in front of the other, it keeps us going. So why do we struggle with feeling like we don't have enough motivation to propel ourselves forward in our work? I hear that a lot from my clients and I wanted to share one of the lessons that I learned many, many years ago that helped me beat my own motivation problems. Uh, a while ago, I read in a book, I wish I remembered which book it was, but I can't remember, um, that I remember reading that motivation is not something that we can rely on at the start of any piece of work because, um, hi Cindy, um, thank you for your kind feedback and great to hear from you and great to meet you a week ago. Um, motivation is not something that we can rely on being with us at the start of a project because indeed motivation oftentimes arises once we have started, once we realize what kind of territory we've ventured into, once we've pushed publish or or go live on a Facebook Live, that's when we get our energy, that's when our spirits tend to rise, that's when we feel like, oh, I, I get this, I know how to move forward and I can do this. When we sit around and we are behind the starting line, it's hard to really see our way forward. Um, I was reading a quote online just before coming live that you can't cross an ocean by sitting there and watching it. And I felt like, wow, that's kind of powerful. I don't want to cross any oceans, but <laughs> I get the message that we need to get our feet wet. We need to start the process in order to feel any sort of motivation at all. But I also wanted to add a few other learning tips about the topic of motivation. So the first one is, one, we need to start right away. I know this might seem obvious to everyone watching, but for procrastinators, we tend to put as much delay as we can fit into the room. Um, and every time we insert an element of delay, we're adding an element and layer of stress to ourselves and we are then putting a damper on any type of motivation that might be there naturally. So try to start as quickly as you can. Shrink that amount of time that you might take before starting and just get your head into it even if you feel like the motivation is low. The second lesson that I have for you is don't judge yourself along the way. Once you've past the starting line. Don't fill your mind and heart with negative criticisms about how, how slow you're proceeding, how you don't know what you're doing, how everyone is doing it better than you are. Because guess what? Those kinds of messages to yourself are just, again, damp putting a damper on your motivation. And we need to lift ourselves up. Another way to lift yourself up is to not rely on yourself. Get friends like Cindy, get, get people who understand what you're going through and go through the process with them. That's also kind of just a, um, a spontaneous addition to this list of motivation helpers. Um, we can, when we have friends who care about us and who understand how difficult the work we are doing or trying to do is, it can make the whole journey a whole lot easier. Um, the last tip I have for you is to remind yourself of your end goal or the contribution you are making along the way. Uh, while you are working, remind yourself what is the purpose of your efforts in the first place. Is it to ease up on your to-do list? Is it to get it cleared out? Is it to become more expert at a certain topic? Is it to free yourself for vacation? Um, and if it's not a goal, maybe it's a contribution that you are making to the group around you, to the community around you. Is it a charity drive? Is it um, um, a Facebook Live that you're giving to your procrastination followers? Whatever it is, keep yourself focused on the contribution and the goal, not on what this is doing for your ego and how miserable you might be feeling about 
the work because th that, that kind of thinking is not going to get you there. So to review, I want to remind you that motivation is not so bland a topic after all. It really is meaningful and um, that we have a huge role in nurturing that pot of motivation that is within us. It is natural. We have it. But we also have tricky ways that procrastination and our negative thinking and maybe self-esteem self issues can can squash our natural motivation. So do whatever you can to lift yourself up, to get yourself going faster, and to remind yourself of your contribution and what you're doing for the world. That should help you get your motivation back. I certainly hope it does. Cindy, I'm signing off soon, and um, thank you again for joining. Thanks for everyone who will be watching this on the replay. If you'd like to keep in touch with me and be notified, be notified of, thanks for the likes, uh, be notified of future lives, please like my Facebook page. It's Procrastination Coach, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Have a great day.